builds, 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 builds. There they are. What the f fucking what? Vanguard doesn't matter. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Matt Luddy, and today we're just uh, as a brief little discussion about something that occurred on stream. Kind of, you know, by accident. These things often are by accident, and it kind of got a little bit better, uh, you know, even after what I did. Uh, so here's the clip, and then we'll, after this, we'll come back. We'll talk about it. Piranus exclusive. Technically, Pirandus exclusive. Is it good? It's used for one build only, and it's not touched outside of it. Probably not really a hardcore build. Your flasks don't affect you whatsoever. It's for your zombie. It's a zombie detonate whatever build. So 3.0. Bitey's okay. going support. Yep. First the soft core. And we're all going totems. <laughs> Just hope so. No. Hell no. <laughs> I hope so. Going out like wander. Let's roll through everything because that was the easiest playthrough we've ever had. I just cast spam to Vanguard built for three T one suffix. Oh, you're making me want to log over. I'm not I a, nasty, bro. I had a twenty X offer in one of those belts we crafted. Yeah, I know. Just last night. I'm not joking actually, I just I like this one's actually did. Uh um, Hi YouTube. Just escalate. Shut the dog. Escalate. My woman's the best. She, she understands jokes. I, hope, I mean, I'd hope jokes. so, considering the fact I've heard you yell a few and, times. Yeah. And chokes and all the, everything between. You shit, you've yelled bong that if you don't understand jokes, you wouldn't be there right now. Seven X to put on this meme. Box. Guess I'll just put on this bullshit. Headlocks, dreadlocks. <laughs> This is fucking dumpster. She just said, my woman's the best. She puts up with my ass. <laughs> this is a waste of my precious exalt that I have. Holy shit. This is a waste of my precious exalt that I have. I like it's kind of scary. Yeah, he can be. Oh, it was, it was for that one that we traded on. It was for that T1 Live Triple Res one. I didn't even log over to look at what belt he was off. Oh, there time. we go. It only took three fucking attempts. <laughs> T1 life. <laughs> yes. Hey, you too. Oh, boy. You fucking lucker. I'm not a lucker. It's pure skill. You're a lucker fucker. All right. So, yeah, uh, this is where I'm at now. <laughs> I got a four T1 Vanguard belt, and it's four and a half to five T1. And what I, what I mean by that is uh, for, for prefixes, um, you can put, I don't know if it has it here. But it is here in Tora's uh, bow maker's tool, which is for belt crafting. And is this thing right here? This is the prefix, uh, one to five percent move speed. Five percent move speed is pretty nice. One percent not so nice, but it's easy to get that the way you want it. The reason I mention that is because right now this belt has T1 life strength, cold, and lightning resistances. So it's got the two T1 reses and strength, which gives you. Uh, if you see, uh, all attributes do give you something. If you scroll over them, people don't even know this, but you have int, dex, and strength. That's what the game's like based around for stats, right? It's also why the classes are, are what they are. It's supposed to be like, here's the pure dex, you know, here's the pure strength, and here's the pure int. And then you have the hybrids, you know, uh, int strength, templar, uh, int dex, shadow, and then the uh, dex strength, uh, duelist, and then you have the scion, which is just a piece of shit class. But uh, strength gives you every two strength is 1% life, and every five strength is 1% melee physical damage. If a belt has 55 strength, which is what it will have, uh, you know, when it's actually perfect, uh, the stuff, it'll be 22 or 20, yeah, 22.5 uh, strength. I'm pretty sure it's rounded down, honestly. So it's, you know, 22 life, 22 flat life. From the strength to fizz, it's giving you five times 10, 11, so 11% 11 melee fizz. So yeah, basically, it's the fact that it's a Vanguard belt, it's giving you armor evasion. Um, where I want to go with it is I want to get, boom, armor. I want to get this roll encased. All right, oh, 400 to one to 460 armor. That is what I want, and then the last thing I want to put on is the movement speed. So it'll have 460 armor, 320 armor evasion, uh, the life, the strength, the cold, the lightning, and then the move speed. A reason I don't want wed, which is boom. If I hit wed, um, you know, that's great, but wed is actually the overpowering one is a lot more rare. It's a lot less often you see it, so it's actually easier to hit encased. Now, the reason that that's good is because this belt will be a pure fizz, like, you know, armor, like RT belt. 
and basically it's, it'll be it'll be good for builds that are iron reflexes and builds that are pure fizz and the reason that pure fizz is good is because of uh some of the gems that are coming in in beta in 3.0 so you have um, of the new gems there's ones like the chance to bleed so it's pure fizz does bleeding this was nerfed a little bit but that's besides the point uh this one is more fizz and maiming so yeah maim makes them take reduced movement speed um multiple maims do not stack so if you can have shit like um uh, the main support on like vengeance or leap slam and it works then uh, but most importantly of brutality so brutality is support skills do 35 percent more melee fizz and do no le damage so this is a a big old melee fizz gem it's like another melee physical gem and we already have the gem melee fizz right and that's um 49 percent at level 2020 this is probably gonna be pretty similar i guess if not maybe even more probably higher because of the drawback so you're gonna have two different melee fizz gems right so because of this there might be a rise in pure fizz builds and a pure fizz build won't need weapon elemental damage if they uh deal no elemental damage you know so and stuff like uh stuff like starforge specifically which is the sword from shaper it's it's even better because you deal in la damage there'd be a lot of like you know maybe starforge pure fizz builds and then um they might want a belt you know these, these are like expensive standard things so this is an expensive standard thing might want a belt like this not everyone wants to use headhunter headhunter is not good for bossing but a build like this could be good for bossing so that's why i kind of wanted to make uh this belt and i i wasn't planning on it initially but uh as you saw from the clip it kind of happened so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to buy a couple eternals i'll probably invest like four or five into it and uh if i get it before then fine um then i could use the extra eternals on the golden mantle you know that is uh <laughs> still here i have listed for a thousand x just because you know um but yeah so i have leftovers if that happens eternals are about like 30 to 35 exalted each so i can afford a few attempts especially after i finish the card video i have about 600x worth of stuff coming into my roster of shit to sell i still have tons of things to sell and this is done so that's done done so yeah this is a nemesis lock it's not the best name but it's a vanguard belt there's not many vanguard belts in the game especially not like mirror tier one so it is what it is um but yeah i'm not letty and uh, this could be a cool potential project. It could be a bunch of bullshit. But, you know, upcoming uh, Pure Fills build might be actually a thing for the first time in a long, 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 long time. So I look forward to uh, seeing if I can finish this before then or finish this for a Star Forge type build. Uh, if so, I can always just get a Star Forge and test it out myself. Uh, so, yeah, I hope to see you guys later. And I'll update you on the progress of the build if there is any. Bye.